Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to be working on my Tesla Model 3. I'm gonna be doing some oil change. Now, let me talk about this real quick. I'm using this Valvoline Max Life because it's good for ATF 9, 8, and 7. But you can use a Pentacin ATF 9 if you'd like. It's your preference, do what you gotta do. But this is gonna be what I'm using. Um, it's a transmission oil. That's uh, that uh, it's uh, compatible with ATF 9. So, um, what else? I'm gonna be using factory um, filter. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's work on the car. First thing we need to do is, of course, put the car on the jacks, safety jacks, and uh, anyway, you, uh, after that, just remove all these 10, 10 millimeter. Uh, 10 millimeter holder for this uh, cover right here. Um, there's a bunch of them, so go ahead and remove all of them, okay? Be back. All right, so I don't know how many bolts are out, but once they're all out, and you can easily access your oil filter, the drain plug is right over there. First of all, I'm gonna remove the drain plug first because I don't wanna drain it, and then you can't remove the drain plug, then you're screwed. For drain oil purposes remove this clip right over here unplug this clip and then take out these two um bolts right over here one on the bottom one on the top right there so to take out the drain it's an eight millimeter and then we'll go ahead and remove it all right everyone sorry about the noise but to take this uh this plug get a little uh you know tool to push this clip out I already did and then squeeze squeeze that clip and then it should come off just like that so this filter you should be able to take it out from your hand because it only has seven foot pound probably of there it is so what we're gonna do guys and gals oh that thing is super dark you know this pentacin oil the ATF 9 there they're kind of clear. This thing looks burnt, but anyway, there you go. Definitely, you needed an oil change. Look at that oil, it's black. So basically guys, we're gonna remove, and we're gonna measure what we took take out, okay? So whatever comes out of it, we're gonna measure it and then we'll replace it with correct amount of oil. And then we'll take this out. So these two bolts right over here, the E10. E10, it's a it's a special nut. Take that out. There's not a lot of force on this guy, so these bolts are very easy to remove. It's not that hard to do. Just always be careful, though, not to strip any one of them. You know what I mean? And this one is going to be tough to take it out, so just work your way around it. Be careful not to break it. I don't know how much this thing costs at the dealer. So, sorry about the noise, guys. Someone's doing construction. So, there you go. Slowly. Oh, sorry about it. it was out of frame. There you go. And then just wait until it drains out. So I ended up removing it to just make it go faster so I can even clean this. Look at that, it's kind of dirty. So I'm gonna wipe it down and insert it back. I already cleaned that uh, oil filter housing right there and I'm gonna clean that as well. So let's all clean it up. There it is, it's all cleaned up and uh, let's put it back in. Oh, and uh, let's clean that housing. All right, just go ahead and push it back in. It'll just sound like it's gonna suck it in like poop. And then uh, put back this, the nut on it, the N10 nut, or eight. There you go. And then we're gonna feel it after we put everything back. Before you put this in, kind of loop the rubber hose, I mean the rubber hose, the rubber uh, gasket, and then just go ahead and put it in. The reason why we lube it is because so it doesn't catch when you put it in. And then I'm gonna hand tight this with my bare hands, just like when I took it out. You know what I mean? As tight as you can. 
with your rubber gloves. You should feel it. It's like... There you go. As tight as you can get. And uh, don't forget to put the plug back in. And then put the lock back in. Push it in. That's it. And that's that. So we took out the fill plug. I'm going to go ahead and fill it back in. Right over there. All right, so I'm gonna put a first uh, one quart first, but look how black that is. I'm gonna, that's a good thing because that means you've washed all the dirt from the inside. I'm gonna put one quart and then I'm gonna dump it, see how many quarts this thing came out of. So what came out is a little bit over two quarts, a little bit over two liters, so maybe like 2.4, 2.3, give or take. Let's go ahead and refill it back. All right, guys, so 3.78, I marked it right there, so more or less. Uh, the bottom mark is where I should be. I filled it up with this, uh, you know, uh, fluid um, extractor and fluid, um, you know, um, transfer. It's a lot easier. I was going to do a gravity feed, but I cannot find my other gravity fed. That way I could just pour it in. But anyway, let's just do it painstakingly and inject it. So we're almost there actually to put it back. So then, yeah, it's quite easy to do, fun to do. Do it on, you know, don't don't rush your your work and take your time and then eventually you'll get there. All right, so clean this up and then put it back in. We have filled it up. There's no drip because I put in the right amount of uh, oil. We are almost done, everyone. There you go. And then kind of just um, on this one, you don't... Ay, ay, ay. See on this one, just uh, not too tight because when I took this out, it was kind of loose. So there you go, not too tight, not too loose. All right, everyone, I'm gonna clean this up. I was gonna spray it, but I'm just gonna wipe it off. I already sprayed this side anyway. All right, put everything back, guys and gals. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps you on how to do your oil change on your Model 3, Tesla Model 3, all-wheel drive, real-wheel drive, don't matter. I'm sure it's the same with other Tesla Model S, Model Y, um, you know, drain and refill kind of thing. Take care, everyone. God bless. I'll catch you in the next video. Please subscribe. Help me to grow on this channel. Take care, everyone. Bye. God bless.